uh, welcome back so we are going to see another example for calculation for tachometer survey module 3 uh, so using the tachometric observation shown on the table below determine each of the following so the first is the reduced levels of p q and r and then the second is the distances pq qr and pm so there we have a table so that is the instrument station um, and then the instrument station you have p p and q so uh, so these are readings to staff stations and then we have the height of instrument which are different then we have different vertical angles and we have a negative there so showing we have a slope a depreciation then you have the staff reading for only the mid and the top then the tachometry constants are a hundred and zero respectively and the reduced level of m is 950 meters now we can draw our diagram illustrating where p is m is q is so from p we have two staff station that is m and q and from q also we have a staff station at r so we calculate the distances p q uh, from the formulas we now find out that mm, the constant 100 which will be multiplied by s then multiply by a cos squared of that angle now we can find out so we have the top and the middle reading the difference of both of them will give us where the position of our last reading is now we can get our value and we can translate it and you put it where it's, it's supposed to be so we multiply the values and you remember so the cos you first do the cos then you square the answer to get where we have so for pm we also do the same so it's a hundred times 2.167 minus the last reading which also you'll have to calculate it by finding the difference of the top and the middle and then you minus the difference also to the middle one then we find for qr2 so that is 100 times the difference so that is the s the difference in the study readings then times the cos angle and then our answer we squared to find what we are looking for having finished that we are going to look for the uh, reduced levels which we have first to find the vertical distances p and q uh, which is a half k is sine 2 theta so we had found where our s was from our previous calculation and we're going to translate it there and then you remember so it's sine theta then the answer you multiply by 2 there we will get 11.06 as our vertical distance for p q then we'll do the same for pm which will be a half times 100 times s sine theta and then times 2 and we get 13.84 then we repeat the same for qr and we get another value for the vertical distance uh, so and then our last vertical distance uh, qr will do uh, the same so that's a half times 100 into brackets 3.17 minus 1.92 then times sine t 
10 degrees 30 minutes and then our answer will do the multiplication of 2 and we'll get our answer. Uh, we now go for the reduced levels of, of P that will be the reduced level of M plus V plus H minus the height of instrument as you can see in our previous diagram you can refer to it so that will be 950 plus 13.84 plus 1.61 minus the height of instrument and we'll repeat the same for Q so there will be a slight difference in the height of instrument where well, we'll add there the height of instrument then we'll add the vertical distance then we'll minus the H which is the middle distance then for R we will do the same and so the H that is the distance from the middle to where our staff is then V is the distance of the line of axis to the midpoint so thank you see you again